not paying attention to some specifics, pain plan wise, uh, personnel wise. It's very, very comfortable coming out and the shots they got, the people they got for the shots. Um, and then, uh, execution offensively, way too slow for our team that was trapping. We couldn't, um, figure out the blitz. Are these turnarounds in so many games, are they encouraging or discouraging that there have been these enormous swings? Well, um, inconsistency is obviously not a good thing. And, uh, the fact that you either build a lead or fight back from a deficit, you know, there's, there's some positives to it, but uh, on the flip side is obviously letting leads slip away or getting yourself in a big hole. And so, um, I don't think we talked about being more consistent coming in than we've been anything but that and pretty much played halves all, all year other than the Dallas game where we played three good quarters. Is this type of performance from Tari indicative that you know he can have those kind of takeover games more than one more? Yeah, I think uh, we all know that and we know the impact he has when he plays. It's been a matter of um, you know him working his way back and so that will continue to increase but uh, yeah, that we're kind of a uh, we've up to that at times where we can't run too long or early on yet to the restrictions a little bit, so we didn't want to run too long stretching. But when he's out there, he does good things always. What do you feel like he started performing the right game? About halfway through the third. You know, we subbed some guys out and brought some guys in that brought energy. Um, played with a different pace. Uh, I, I do feel even the start of the third, we at least defensively started to pick up full court. Uh, be the aggressor, basically what they were, they were doing the first half. So playing uh, better to start. I think the second unit, third unit that came in, uh, really obviously brought us back into the game. What about that? I'll be playing just the eight and a half minutes in the first half and leaving the floor a couple minutes early. Uh, not handling the pace of the game, the physicality. Like I said, the um, the uh, Blitzes that we were, they were doing when we got into the hill or the other base in the pocket were executing out of that. Uh, we've seen that quite a few times now. Uh, something that we got to continue to groove on and um, it's not playing the sharpest game, honestly. And so I don't think it was just Alfie. Uh, I took a lot of guys out and put a lot of guys that hadn't seen minutes this year in for a spark and tried a few different guys until we found them what worked. So it wasn't just an Alfie thing, obviously, you can get down at 30 point deficit. It's a uh, whole group or something than one person. Is there a reason why he went to the locker room? I did not know. I didn't make no comment. Did you feel like he was better in that third quarter than he's up there? I think the group was in general. Um, offensively, he hasn't found his rhythm yet. So, you know, missed the shots that he normally made last year. Um, defense, I think the whole group was. They played more energy and um, we played as the aggressor. But uh, offensively, still not as sharp as he had been. Like I said, missing shots, he normally makes. Um, and had a lot of possessions in the, late in the fourth quarter over time where teams were really sagging off and going state. How do you feel about how he attacked those possessions? It was decent. I think uh, it's different when the guards are on versus five. And obviously, when we don't have a five out there, a lot of teams will put their five on it. So that was different when Moody was there versus um, some of the guys we brought up into the action. So um, I like when he got downhill and attacked and you know, found some kickouts and you know, draw to the crowd. Um, it's a different story when five is sitting back in the paint, so um, we try to have him as more of the screener when five is on. Do you feel like Fred is still getting the same shots he was getting last year, or are defense playing them any differently? Um, a little bit of both. Tonight, for example, they they pretty much blitz, blitz everybody, every ball handler. Um, you know, to start the season, he was getting great looks and made some and missed some, and uh, I've been a little up and down as far as that, like the shooting numbers from three, but overall, getting, getting good looks, though. What we didn't like about this year was that he didn't have to handle as much with Jalen and our men and different guys in grouping, so he could be the recipient of some of them. So continue to take those. Um, and yeah, I'm not, I'm not, not worried about the shot as much. You know, I think a few guys went through a tough stretch tonight, but um, got decent looks. Um, but I would say his quality is as good as last year. Jalen and Fred um, did have, you know, they weren't as, as efficient as they did. You know, in a couple of games this season, how do you get them back on track? I mean, it's one game that, you know, we didn't shoot it extremely well early in the season, specifically Charlotte, and then, you know, came back and had some really good games. We liked the looks we got in that first game, and then kind of got the, the duplicate game plan in, uh, against San Antonio and had great looks and knocked some of those down. So, for those guys, just continue to take the right shot, make the right play, you know, not get caught up in some misses and 
start to press a little bit. So, yeah, it wasn't both their nights, but, uh, you know, it wasn't a lot of people's nights. And the bench and third leader came in and the game was smart. How do you feel about the quality of the shots that Taylor and Fred were getting tonight? Decent. You know, I think they got some good looks, but, um, especially when we put Smalls in the action, but the bigs disrupted them and then the, the, the blitz in the air. But they do the right thing, get off the ball, and the others have to make plays. you got the numbers behind it if you get to the pocket or an advanced pass out of it. We've seen that quite a, quite a few times this year and still need to some move in that area. Okay, what do you think it's going to take to get Ralphie to turn it around? Got to find the rhythm, for sure. I mean, um, we're moving him around a little bit, obviously, where he's really good in the pocket. You know, he's had decent look there, looks there. Um, and the Chiefs are going after him in post that sometimes when you like him on the elbow, I suppose also, but, um, a rhythm in, you know, whether it's getting himself in shape to play, you know, early season, it might be part of it, but, um, sometimes he's that point blank, you know, misses that he didn't have as much last year. So, good to uh, work with him and get him the right looks, um, and obviously he'll snap out of that, um, the quality looks are too good, you know, and continue to miss those.